Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Ayyullah habitu fillah Continue on in our study, Advice for the Student of Knowledge By Shaykh Muhammad Ibn Abdul Wahhab al-Wasabi Hafidhullahu ta'ala And the first point he mentioned was having sincerity to Allah and the second point he mentions as a piece of advice for people who willing and wanting to seek knowledge and learn and improve their Islam. He said, patience with attaining knowledge, revising and preserving it, maintaining and spreading it. Allah the glorified and almighty said, and we made them leaders to guide by our command when they were patient. And it was narrated in the Sahih, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Patience is light. Yahya bin Ali Kathir said to his son, Knowledge is not gained by being comfortable in your body. And Abdullah bin Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhum said, Say to the student of knowledge, Take your two sandals from iron. There are immense benefits from this Ahabatifillah, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and bless you and preserve us and preserve you. Guide us and guide you to that which is pleasing to Allah Azza wa Jal. So patience, as the Shaykh mentioned, patience with attaining knowledge and revising it and preserving it and maintaining it. So something we have to realize that on the path of Talib al-Ilm, that ilm it will leave you if you don't revise it. Books that you memorized, uh, verses of Kitab Allah, and whatever ahadith of the, from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam you memorized, you will forget it if you don't practice it and if you don't revise it. And one of the ways, and I find that this helps me tremendously, and of course the ulama mentioned this uh, continuously but as far as what I've actually experienced as well is by teaching that knowledge it helps to keep it uh, help you, helps you to retain your knowledge so by conveying ilm you are able to retain ilm and this is very important and the path of knowledge as we mentioned in the beginning of the dars where the Prophet Sallallahu said Man salaka tariqan yal talmasuhu bihi alman sahalallahu lahu tariqan al jannah. Whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah will make easier for him the path to jannah. So, as we know, the path to jannah is a steep path. It's not easy. We don't just fall into paradise, we don't fall into jannah. But those people, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned all throughout the Qur'an and all throughout the authentic sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu and as history dictates for us, that it requires striving, it re requires toil and struggle to get to paradise. And it requires patience. It requires sabr. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al -kareem, after Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, wal asr inna l-insana lafi khusr illa al-ladina amanu amalu salihati wa tawasu bil haqi wa tawasu bil sabr. Allah subhanahu wa taala says, uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. By the time verily all mankind is in a loss, then Allah subhanahu wa taala makes the exception. Illa al-ladina amanu, except those who believe. Illa al-ladina amanu amalu salihat and do righteous deeds. وَتَوَاسُوا بِالْحَقِّ And they call to the, to the haq, to the truth. They advise one another. They give da'wah for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They call the kitab illa wa sunnah rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَتَوَاسُوا بِالصَّبْرِ And they're patient. Because all of that requires patience. And the NBA, their lives bear witness to that. عَلَيْهِمْ أَفْضُوا الصَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ as well as the ulama of Islam, and as well as the lives of the salihin, and the mujahideen, those who are martyred in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not extremists, not terrorists, not uh, people who slaughter, that's not patience. But sabr is being patient 
and knowing when and how to practice these great deeds that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has legislated. So patience on the path of ilm, it's not an easy path. And just to give you some insight into my own practical experience, which is very relevant, is when I first began to seek knowledge, my experience was not, of course, through the internet, because at that time it wasn't as developed as it is now, and the spread of knowledge wasn't as it is now. But for many of us, and some of the brothers that I have experienced that were that are some of them and were students of knowledge, is that we, for some of us, we went to Yemen. So we went from the places where we had comfort in America, in Europe, and wherever, to go to the difficult, uh, difficult life in Yemen. And not only just the general cultural shock in the change of environment, because due to the poverty and all the things that come with poverty and struggle there in Yemen, but then going to the mountains and living in the village of Damaj with Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al-Wadi'i, Allah yirhamuhu. But I recall the times when there was no electricity, when uh, water was limited, when I, on a frequent basis, used to use a, uh, a bottle that we drink, a, a small bottle of water, which is probably uh, about uh, a liter, I guess about a liter, or, or not even a liter, probably a half of that, I don't know. The, your average drinking bottle of water, and I used to make ghusl from that because there was a lack of water. And wudu, and so forth, ikramakum Allah. And so, and many people, they were patient through sickness. I know many brothers who had received various types of sickness, from food poisoning to probably hepatitis and all kind of other things from, from that steep path that they uh, chose to endure. So the path of knowledge, this is the shahid, is not an easy path when you're really truly striving uh, to, to seek the knowledge, that it's not easy. And this relates to the narration that the Shaykh mentioned, that's the narration of Yahya bin Ali Kathir, rahimahullah ta'ala, when he said to his son, he said, knowledge is not gained by being comfortable in your body. And Shaykh Muqbil, Allah yarhamahu, used to always mention this, and he practiced this as he died uh, from his uh, whatever particular ailment, uh, possibly kidney failure or what, whatever ailment he received, but he used to drink from the Prophet X Sunnah camel urine and try all of these traditional ways of curing himself. And that requires patience. He could have went and, and did the uh, treatments and uh, more contemporary treatments in which he did try to do some of those as well. But he was patient on the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he taught until he was unable to. Rahmatullah alayhi rahmatan wasiya. And he used to frequently say, and I recall this, and you'll find this on his tapes if you listen to many of his lectures. He used to say, Al-ilm lem yet bi rahata jisid. And this is the same narration. So this is probably where he got this narration as it is a well-known narration from the Salaf, that knowledge is not gained by being comfortable in your body. You not achieve knowledge by just having a comfort, although now the means for gaining knowledge is so much easier. You can, on the internet, the YouTube, this, that, all these kind of ways, the books and the explanations of the ulama, but really, truly being talib al-ilm and going out and striving is still one of the greatest ways to obtain knowledge and Along with that, it requires patience. And I know a particular Talib al and I won't mention his name, he's a good friend of mine. He's lived in Yemen for over 15 years now. But he lived in Damaj for approximately about 10 to 12 years with no refrigerator. And this is a true story. And I know the brother, and, he, and I know the place he lives now, which is a, a place of, of, of immense heat, immense 
heat. And he lived much of that without an AC. And I don't know if he has an AC now, but I know he and his family, they live without air conditioning. And because he loves that lifestyle of seeking knowledge and coming closer to Allah and teaching people Kitabi la wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So seeking knowledge is, it requires patience. Revising knowledge requires patience. It requires uh, taking, making time in your life to revise that knowledge and preserving it and memorizing it and spreading it. All of those things require patience. And then the last narration that he, the Sheikh mentioned is the narration of Abdullah bin Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, who said, say to the student of knowledge, take your two sandals from iron, meaning that that path is difficult. That it doesn't come with comfort. And it doesn't come necessarily with having the best of, of, of uh, clothing and the best um, and the highest standard of living. That doesn't mean that you should abandon all those things. That's not what we're saying. What we're saying is generally to really, really seek knowledge, it requires immense sacrifice. And, and, uh, and trials usually accompany that knowledge. And the last story I want to mention, which is a true story, one of the last times I went to Damaj and a particular brother who also still lives in Yemen from America, Talib al-Ilm, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve him and cure him, Amin. But he and his wife uh, were living in Damaj at that time for about uh, several years. And when I went to visit him, he mentioned to me, he said, uh, he said, unfortunately, you know, my wife, she she had a, a miscarriage here and she had to, you know, we had to bury the baby and it really hit her hard and it struck her hard. But then we came together and we realized that this path is very serious and severe. It is not an easy path. And so then they reestablish and affirm their Nia and he still lives in Yemen to this day. And I believe he's a Mahajir there. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve him and all of those striving to seek ilm al nafi rizqan tayyibu amna min taqabbil. And may Allah forgive us of our many, many shortcomings. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.